Hey, I'm Paul with RackOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Thule Outbound Rooftop Cargo Bag. It's part number 868. Here it is inside the box. You can see it's uh, very compact. That's one of the things that make a rooftop bag a, uh, a good choice for some people is that it's very easy to store when it's not in use. So it, it fits in a very small, small space. Uh, so that could mean you could keep it inside the vehicle until you need it. If you're not sure you need it, just bring it along and you'll have it ready if you do. Um, so as you can see here, it's attached onto this vehicle. This vehicle has raised rails. It's designed to work on vehicles that have raised rails and or crossbars. As long as they're raised, raised rails or raised crossbars, then it provides the buckle straps here that connect to the side rails or connect uh, to the crossbars. So it's a set of four of these that can be used either at the front and back or on the two sides. And so these, these buckles attach uh, through this this uh, this strap into dual compression straps so if you uh, are unable to fill up the bag completely you can make sure that your your gear is, is held securely by by pulling down the compression strap so the way they design these bags is to maximize the aerodynamic performance by not having uh, by having a nice smooth front to the bag so that helps uh, air flow over the bag a little smoother with fewer wrinkles or the storm flaps um, so just keep it as smooth as possible and what you do have though is you've got a buckle release here and then you can pull the strap there so that you can un unzip the bag now this is a three-quarter zip which means you can unzip it all the way around three quarters and that's how you load and unload the, the bag with it already on the roof and that makes it a convenient here you can see the the zippers and you have two zippers and you can bring those together and velcro them together like that now inside the the bag right now we just have uh, stuffing in order to show the the general shape of it and ideally what you want to do is fill up the bag as much as possible that would mean even if you um, are just putting pillows or blankets inside in order to help maintain the shape that's that's what you want to do because otherwise if you're pulling down on these compression straps a lot that means you're just going to have a few more wrinkles which uh, don't uh, don't help you in terms of aerodynamic performance so there is a rating system that Thule uses uh, for the water resistance um, it's called the IPX rating system this one has an IPX2 rating. They do make another bag uh, that's a little more expensive, the Interstate bag that has an IPX3 rating. So those ratings just indicate how long um, a, 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 a bag of this type will resist water penetrating inside. So an, IP, an IPX2 rating is good but an IPX3 rating is better. And basically it just means this bag is splash proof. And, but over time, if you're subjected to driving rains for a long period of time, eventually over time, water can seep in to where these seams are. So for example, if you were just to splash a bucket of water on top of this bag, it would just splash away and nothing would happen. But if you repeatedly more and more water just continually splashing on top, eventually water can penetrate through these seams. So if you feel like you might, might encounter those type of, of driving rainstorms on, on your travels, then that would be when you'd want to consider upgrading to a bag that has a higher IPX rating, like the Thule Interstate bag. And that one would have an overall coating on the, on the surface of the bag to resist penetration. And then also anywhere where it's stitched together, as you can see here, one of the stitches is sealed, so you have that sealed stitching. And so that's exactly what you find on a quality bag is where these uh, stitch points are sealed. So, and the next step up is where you actually coat the entire, the entire material to give it even a higher uh, IPX rating. And that's what you get on the, on the interstate bag from Thule. Now, this bag is ideal for summertime use. Um, you know, if you're not expecting any major storms or you're stuck in a storm for a long period of time, this will do a good job and is very economically priced. So some of the other uh, things to point out on the bag, um, we have it attached here to the side rails. And if you are attaching it to a different vehicle that has 
crossbars, you want to make sure that those crossbars can be spread out enough, uh, in this case enough which would be 36 inches, in order for the bag to sit down in between the bars. You don't want a narrower crossbar spacing because that means the bag would be riding up on top of the bars which would minimize your, your uh, usage of the bag. Also, it's sitting on this back portion of the rooftop which has no glass. Uh, up forward is not an appropriate position uh, for a rooftop bag. If you have a, a glass roof, a sunroof, it's not intended to be, um, it's not recommended that you put it on top of a glass roof for obvious reasons. The, this can support up to a hundred pounds of, of gear inside and some of that gear might have hard edges and uh, if, this, if this is up on top of that, that could obviously damage a, a glass roof potentially. So um, other than that, you got a good idea of, of what you have here. Um, a great way to economically carry up to 13 cubic foot of, of gear, preferably soft items like duffel bags full of clothing, um, sleeping bags, pillows, things like that. Uh, bulky stuff that you can get out of the interior of the vehicle and that can go up here. Nothing that might be um, damaged if it did get wet. And if you're concerned about um, items getting wet inside of here because you may unexpectedly encounter a, a bad storm or something like that just go ahead and and add extra protection to your to the inside with perhaps uh, water resistant luggage or even a even a plastic bag to, to better protect yourself and uh, keep it all enclosed inside this bag and you have a nice tidy way to uh, transport your gear so those are all the key features of the Thule Outbound 868. Uh, this product, along with full line of Thule products, is available on our website at rackoutfitters.com. Thanks for watching and uh, visit our site for more details.